Hey what's going on guys, today I'm gonna show you how we can make this cool text effect by using Elementor. Here we have created a text with this 3D perspective which seems more likely a stair and when you hover over on this, you can see each of this text level up one step with this nice transition. Cool. So without further ado, let's see how can we achieve this effect. Ok, so first of all in this blank page we need to take an section. So let's click on here and inside this section we also need to take an inner section. So let's go to this area and drag this inner section inside this. Ok, now before starting for this section I want to make it to full width. So go to this section settings and make it height to the minimum height and make the unit in VH. And let's make it to 100 feet. So now this is full height of our screen. So after that, here in this inner section, we don't need this column. So let's delete our second column from here. And inside this inner section, first of all, we will take some heading widget. So let's drag this inside here. And I want to change its text. And after that, I also want to add another line. So for this, I want to take an another heading widget. So let's right click on here and duplicate this and change this text. And then we also need to take an another line. So let's duplicate again this heading. Basically here for each of our line, we need to take an heading widget. So here for this one, change its text and let's duplicate the last one. Okay, now we have taken all of this heading. So let's quickly design this. So for our first heading, let's go to the style and from the text color, let's make the color to this red color. And from the typography, let's change this font to this real font. Make the font size to bigger, 58 pixel, and make the font weight to the bold, 900. And let's make all the text in uppercase. So make the text transform to the uppercase. Okay, then I want to apply this style for our this remaining heading. So let's copy the style from here. And I want to paste this style to here. And let's duplicate also here and here. So after that, here we need to add some custom code. So for this, let's take a new section here and inside this section we need to take an html widget so let's search for html and drag this inside here and paste some javascript code inside this okay but you don't need to worry about this code snippet i will also give that code snippet link on my description you can just copy that code and directly paste it to here so after this we also need to write some custom css code so for this, let's take an another HTML widget and drag it under here and let's paste the code snippet to here. Okay, so after that, here we need to go to this inner section settings and go to the advanced tab of this. And here in this CSS classes field, we need to add a custom class, steer. And after adding this class, here you can see already a 3D view of this text. And when we hover over on this, we should see this effect, but we cannot see that. So we need to reload that page. So first of all, let's update this and reload this page. Okay, now if we hover over on this, we can see this nice 3D effect. And here if we again go to this inner section settings and go to the CSS class option. From here after this stair class, if we add another class, center, you can see we are able to make this align to the center or if we want to make it align to the right, we can simply add the class right. Okay, but here I want to keep it to center. That looks good. But here I want to show you one thing. So here if we go to our this CSS code snippet, here instead of minus 100%, it 
if we make it to minus 50 percent and now if we hover over on this now we can see each of the text are here are halfly moving here we have done this only for our testing purposes so here if we look at this text the hello text we can see the above portion of this text is not aligned with our this lower portion so here to match this we need to add some left margin with our this heading so let's go to this heading settings and go to the advanced tab and from here we need to add some left margin for this heading so from the left side we need to give some value but before that let's hover on this and adjust this value okay we can see if we make it to 33 pixel now these two text has perfectly aligned with each other so like this one we also need to adjust our this next heading so let's go to here and like before let's go to the left margin settings and if we make it to 66 pixel it perfectly aligned with this and let's do that with this one go to the advanced tab make it to 99 pixel and lastly for our this last heading we also need to do that but here for our this last heading we cannot actually get the option to give a margin from here because here we have created this heading by using our javascript code snippet so here for adding some margin with this one we need to add some custom css code so for this let's go to this intersection settings and go to here on the custom css and let's paste this code to here okay now let's hover over on this and we also need to adjust this margin from here okay we can see if we make it to 131 pixel that seems perfect so after adjusting this margin we again need to go back to this css code and here we have given it to minus 50 percent just for our testing adjustment so we need to back it to minus 100 percent okay now if we hover over on this we can see it's now working perfectly okay but here if we look at this text you can see it actually goes outside of our intersection so to keep this into our intersection we need to go to the column settings of this intersection and here we need to give some padding from the top of this but before that i want to give some background color for this so you can visualize this better i want to make some black color and go to the advanced tab and let's give some top padding okay now this looks perfect so let's redo this background color so now everything looks okay but here lastly i want to show you another thing if we go to this heading settings and from here if we reduce the font size from here if we make it to 40 pixel and also do that for all of our this heading okay so after reducing this font size you can see everything looks okay but here the gap between this text has been increased so if we want to adjust this gap we can do that by using some custom css so let's go to again this intersection settings and go to this custom code and here we will paste some more custom css code so before that let's paste this code to here okay inside this code you can see the height has been set to 58 pixel but as we make our this font size to 40 pixel so we also need to update this to here make it to 40 pixel and here for this value we also need to update this because here if we hover over on this you can see some gap between this transition so to adjust this we also again go to this custom css code and for again the testing we also need to make this to minus 50 percent and now if we hover over on this we can clearly see this gap so let's adjust this gap from this custom css code okay if we make it to 11 pixel now there is no gap between these each of the text 
but here you can see each of the text are not properly aligned from the left side so to position this perfectly we also need to update the left margin value so if we go to here we need to update this and for this one make it to 46 and for the last one make it to 69 and here when we update this fellow we need to hover over on this to see it's perfectly aligned with our this previous line okay and for our this last heading you know we need to go to this intersection settings and from this custom css we also need to update this to here okay now this looks perfect and lastly when we update this we again go to this custom css code and revert back it to minus 100 percent okay now we can see this is also working properly for our this font size so here i want to repeat it one more time when we change our font size we need to first change our font size from each of the heading from this typography option and then need to go to this intersection settings and here in this custom css code we need to set the same amount of height which is the font size of these headings and then we need to go to this custom css code and need to make this to minus 50 percent for our testing purposes and again go back to here and go to this custom css again and from this margin top we need to change this to adjust the space between each heading and lastly for each heading we need to adjust the left margin from here and for this last heading we need to adjust this from this intersection settings okay and after adjusting all of this we need to again go back to this custom css code and back it to minus 100 pixel okay but now i want to back it to the default font size so i want to redo this okay now lastly i want to check this from our tablet and mobile devices so go to this responsive mode and first of all let's check this from our tablet okay here you can see everything looks perfect we don't need to do anything so let's check this from our mobile device and here you can see this text has been goes outside of our screen and also looks broken so for mobile device we need to reduce the font size so let's go to this heading settings and i want to make this to 20 pixel and let's quickly do this for all of our heading okay after reducing this font size you can see it's perfectly fit inside our screen but here is a huge gap between this text so as before let's again go to this intersection settings and from here we need to adjust this gap but here if we only do this for our mobile devices so now we need to write this custom css code inside and media query so that css code will only be applicable for our mobile devices so after that paste this code to here and now we can see here we have set the height to 20 pixel and also reduce the margin top to 5 pixel and from here you can also adjust this margin top value by following the previous process but here i have already adjusted this and give it to 5 pixel and the next thing we need to do adjust our left margin so for this you know we need to go to this custom css code first and make it to minus 50 percent and from here we also again need to adjust this so let's quickly do this and for this last heading we need to adjust this from our this custom css code so we need to do that inside our this media query okay now everything looks perfect and lastly let's back it to the minus 100 percent and now if we hover over on this that also looks really perfect and lastly here if we again go to our this tablet device here for this device we don't need to change our font size 
but in your case if you also want to change the font size for the tablet you can also do that so in that case here if we again go to this custom CSS code you can see for our mobile devices we have write this media query from 767 pixel which is the breakpoint for our mobile device so for tablet device if you want to write this same custom CSS code you just need to copy this media query and here instead of 767 pixel you need to make it to 1024 pixel and then you can write your custom CSS code like these mobile devices inside this media query okay so lastly I want to save this and let's see it from our preview perfect so that's how you can create this amazing cool text effect by using elementor if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want me to help you for your wordpress related project feel free to contact me through my website which is makedreamwebsite.com i'll try my best to help you thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video